Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on this guy right here. This is the Core SWX Edge Link batteries. And I want to thank the sponsors of this video, Core SWX, for sending these over for the latest passion project I did, which was on the journey. And today I'm going to just be talking about the good, what I love about these, and also a few things that could be for improvement. What's going on everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if this is content that you like, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. So today, uh, it's a sponsored video. Today I am going to be presenting and talking about this guy, uh, which is a product that was sent to me by Core SWX, uh, which I want to thank for sending these over. They sent actually two of these over. This is the Core SWX Edge Link battery. And these are really cool uh, V mount, they're V mount style batteries that are primarily designed for more mirrorless cameras. So, like your R5s, particularly cameras like the R5C and other cameras that chew up a lot of battery. This is sort of the solution here. But you can also use these with more higher end cinema cameras, which I actually use on my passion project, which I was a DP on, on the journey, which this um, was the, I used as a V-mount for the FX6. So a few years back, um, some of you guys who've been here for quite some time probably remember the original one, which I actually have right over here, which was this guy, is the original power base edge. Uh, this is now officially called the edge light. And if you guys remember my, the old days when I had the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, this was like the battery I recommended for this. I've used this pretty much with the Pocket Cinema Camera, but I've also used this with the Canon, uh, all my Canon Cinema Cameras, even recently for a, a commercial spec, I used this with the Canon C200, I'm sorry, no, sorry, uh, Canon C70. I've also used this to power to power lights as well. These, what I really loved about these batteries is that they're pretty lightweight. They, um, they basically cat could have a setup where it was operable, where you can have it basically under the camera, but you can also treat it as a V-mount style. And there was a lot of great things. And I, I brought up how this was sort of kind of a better alternative for the pocket cameras, but there was a lot of problems with this. Um, one was the fact that, um, this little slot right here for the D port was, you had to have a very specific port to get it to work. The other thing is when it came to this piece right here, this was not the most sturdy. You really only had the screw to hold it and there wasn't really a lot of space. So this part, especially when you had heavier cameras or like packet cameras, this tended to jiggle a lot and, the, and then you only had the single screw out here. So there was a lot of, wiggle room. Well, a lot of this was updated with the Edge Link. So just to do a comparison between these right here. So the first major difference is actually that D port. So as I brought out right here, what they've done here is they basically cut open a slot now. So now pretty much you could choose almost any port, uh, any 12 DC port to plug in and you use that as well. The other thing is the power output. So this was originally a 49 watt hour battery, which on the pocket cinema camera got you about three hours. Uh, this is almost double that. This is a uh, 70 watt hour battery. So way, le way longer time, way uh, much better options. Um, when I plug this up on the GH6, this can give me over six hours of continuous runtime, which is pretty much you can just have one of these on the GH6 and you can run this for pretty much an all day shoot. The other big thing that I talked about before is the, re is the release plate. As you can see, this is a much, much bigger uh, plate than the previous one. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because now you can have it doesn't jiggle. This pretty much almost doesn't move. So right here, I have the Panasonic Lumix G86 right here, and I got the attachment right underneath it. So all I have to do is just slippily slide on, 
and then boom, it's right on. And as you, and I'm shaking it right now, and it is not, it's not moving at all. And I'll tell you right there, even though this does, there is a, a definite noticeable weight when you add this on. I actually liked this frame before, because while it's, this could have gone horizontal, I like the fact it's out because it doesn't hit my wrist. And also it gives a nice little place to hold the hand. So now I can, it, it actually goes in and stabilizes the camera. Um, the other thing that I like that's different from the Edge Lite or the original one is the fact that this has a type C port versus this, which only had two USB uh, type A ports, which this one still has one, but it has that type C port, which is great because you can just get something like a Thunderbolt 3 port, plug that in, and then just plug this into the side like this, or if you have, say, a Canon R5C, and this now powers the camera. Now, if you're worried about, you know, this dangling out here, you know, I just have the net here. You can just loop it around and just tie it up that way so it, you don't have cables dangling too much. So Core actually sent me two of these guys, and there is a reason. It's in the name Edge Link, and it's this is what makes this thing really, really cool. It's the fact that I can do this and basically combine these together, and now this, this one will now power the other one. So these two will power together. So instead of a 70 watt hour battery, I now have a 140 watt hour battery that will combine together and they will work together and they will power uh, each other and they will drop pretty much around the same time. And this is great, especially if you're running really, really long takes. And this is basically the setup that I did with the FX6, where basically I put the, the V-mount, I put it on a V-mount plate and I just put it on the attach and I was able to power this as well as an Atomos Shinobi and very much for the entire shoot, run it off of this, these, just these two right here, which was a roughly around a six hour shoot. So pretty much this is, and this is really cool. So then you can break these up. Now, these are 14 volt batteries, not 26 volts. I don't know, um, and I'll, I'll make sure to ask Core at a later date, but I don't know if it's wise to try to power a 26 volt with these two so just i would just be mindful in terms of that and you can stack these up like crazy you can stack them on a crazy amount of these together and they'll power one another off um i wouldn't uh, obviously there's going to get a point where the weight gets really really heavy so i wouldn't stack too much on these one final note on terms of positivity versus the original one what i like is that there's actually on this an actual locking pin so you can actually, so if you got a camera that has like a locking port on it, you can use this. And they also come with these little dip, these little coins you can use to wind up. And they have a little magnetic holder on the bottom of it. And this is really cool. So I, it gives good amount of stu sturdy, which I really do like. Now there are a few downsides uh, to this, um, but I'm this some of this is nitpicky. But there's one. Only one real problem I have with it, but I'm gonna just get the nitpicky stuff out of the way. Number one, I wish this pin lock holder here was just, just like a half an inch or just a couple centimeters up more from its position. And that's mainly because, you know, depending on the mount I'm using, I may not have enough distance between the quarter 20 and the locking pin to get this uh, on and I'm, if I'm putting this on a tripod. So I wish there was just a couple centimeters diff more additional space between this uh, quarter 20 and the locking pin just so I can just have, make sure no matter what plate I'm using, I've got that security if I need it. Really my only one critique and that is um, the fact that there's no um, button to actually turn it on. And what I mean by that is, is on the original one, there was a little power button right here that you can press this and it, if, it, if the battery just happened to go to sleep to just preserve its lifespan, you can hit that and it will turn the battery, it will engage the battery. Uh, you do not have this on this one. And the downside is you will absolutely need a DTAP port to plug it in in order to activate it. Cause there's been a, a few times where I've had the GH6 
I've had, I, I put it under, I plug in the, D, uh, the Thunderbolt, and it's not sending power to the camera, and that's because the battery went to sleep. And I didn't bring the DTAP port with me, so this kind of makes this useless. I wish there's maybe a firmware or something that they could be done to sort of give us the ability to have when it's connected to something, it can automatically detect it and turn on. Um, that's really my own critique. Outside of that, for the price range that you get for this, and for the capabilities and the power, I, I think these are some of the best. I've always been a fan of Core. I'm using Cores on my Canon C70, specifically designed for that. I've been using it on the Blackmagic. I just, I just love the products that they do, and this is another great product. But anyways, this is my thoughts on the Core SWX PowerBase Edge Lynx. Let me know what you guys think of this. Leave your comments below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.